Well, this morning we welcome back Peg Thomas from the People to People Student Ambassador Programs and Dan Dominich, Executive Director of the American Association of School Administrators to talk more about an exciting new way to think about cultural awareness and why that is so important for our kids. Hi, Peg and Dan, welcome back to the show. Nice to be here. Thank Good you for having us. Good to see you all again. Now, when you were last here, we were talking about the People to People uh, Student Ambassador Program. Before we get into the long-term benefits in terms of what this does for our children, could you quickly review the program for us? Great. Um, so People to People Student Ambassadors, it travels 5th through 12th graders, travel all over the world, um, more than 40 countries, all seven continents. They travel on a three-week program, um, and it's not your normal class trip. They are led by a teacher, ah. but they have a unique opportunity to get behind the scenes of where they're traveling to, not just from a tourist perspective, but a much more global citizen perspective. And you know, it's one thing to say that, but it's another thing for our viewers out there to get a little bit of a taste of what that looks like. So before we go any further, we have a video clip of the People to People Student Ambassador Program. Let's take a look at it. It's on this monitor right here. means that we get to represent our country. To promote world peace and understanding between cultures. It's amazing. It's definitely an experience I'm never going to forget. But I've never been this far away from home and for this long and it really teaches you responsibility. The student ambassador is the potential peacemaker of the future. Can I just tell you it never gets old? <laughs> Seeing that video, it is absolutely amazing. Great stuff. Thank you. I want to bring you in here, Dan, because I know that you've worked in education for over 36 years. What are the benefits from seeing students who participate in these kinds of programs? Well, what a tremendous experience. Uh, you know, in this uh, global age, yeah. when we talk about a global community, and we have the opportunity to take youngsters outside of their environment, outside of their neighborhood, and travel around the world, and you see that they become worldly in front of your eyes. They want to learn foreign languages. Mm. They really want to become world citizens. It's a great experience. And I know we've heard about IQ and we've heard about uh, EQ or emotional intelligence. Now there's a new way to think about intelligence. It's called CQ or cultural intelligence. Right, and, and th these programs in particular are focusing on this CQ component, the, the cultural quotient. And in our programs, we've designed to create an opportunity for children to, to increase their CQ through these travel programs. And major corporations are then using this new assessment to then identify talent. So what should parents know about CQ? CQ is, is a strategy for a child to, to break into something that they hadn't seen previously. So it's creating this culturally intelligent global citizen through different steps in a process. On the programs in particular, a tourist might just go and see something in a, in a culture in and of itself. But on a student ambassador program, you'll actually talk about that component on the program before you ever go. Then you partake in it in a hands-on experiential learning opportunity and then you debrief on it afterwards. Oh. And don't you find, Dan, that then when a child comes back into the classroom, they come back a changed person in a way, right? Because their whole outlook is broadened. And this is what's great about this program, okay, that they, they have an, uh, unlike regular IQ, you can't improve somebody's IQ, you know, you're born with it. But a cultural IQ, you can actually improve, uh, children can actually learn to be more culturally receptive. And, in, and that is reflected when they come back to school. Mm -hmm. they're, they're better students, mm -hmm. they perform better in their academics, and they're motivated. You know, mm -hmm. they're challenged. They have something to look forward to. They have careers in mind. They have all of these things that are a result of the great experience that they have on these trips. Well, thank you so much for giving us a well-rounded look at this incredible program this morning. Good to see you again. Yeah, great to be here. Thank you. Always good to see you as well, Dan. Likewise. Mm -hmm. And if you want more information on People to People Student Ambassador Program, simply go to the website. It's peopletopeople.com.